hello. Uh, today we're going to look at the uh, project Euler problem three. Uh, actually, so problem three goes like the prime factors of one three one nine five thirteen thousand one hundred ninety five are five seven thirteen and twenty nine. So these are the factors which are prime. There are other factors as well. What is the largest prime factor of the number? This one, like six zero zero eight five one eight four seven five one four three. So we need to find out the prime factor, the largest prime factor of this number. Okay, let me copy this number. So this is the problem from Project Euler, uh, problem number three. Okay, so okay, let's see. We need to find the prime factor of this number. This number, I think, it is it is uh, out of bound in integer value. So if you put in, let's say, if we start like in number equals to this so if you initialize like initialize like this then it says integer number too large so the integer itself uh, cannot hold this big number so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put long number and then in, in Java if you want to do long then you need to put L at the end okay so this is the uh, number that we need to find the largest prime factor of okay uh, before finding the prime factor let's find uh, the factors actually let's see which let's see, let's find the factors of this big number so i'll start a, a for loop here so i is greater than two and i is uh, less than or equals to number okay i plus plus okay i'm starting this for loop starting from two going up to the number <coughs> so every number i find out in the loop i'll name that as a new number so let's say long new number so every number in the loop will be new number new number equals to i i'll do that for now okay sorry no not this at the moment so i'll go through the loop and then what i'm gonna do to find out whether the number in the loop that is i is factor or not perfect factor if it's a perfect factor then when I divide my number with I the remainder has to be zero so to do that in Java you put percentage so if I is a factor of that number then when you divide that number with I the remainder has to be zero okay so whatever number we find here is a, a factor I'll name them name that number as I so I is a factor because when you divide the number with I it gives zero remainder okay so and I'll put that I as new number now let's find out whether that number that new number is a prime or not for that I'll initialize a counter at zero now to find out whether that number is prime or not what I'll do long I'll start another for loop j equals to zero no I'll start from j equals to new number okay j is greater than or equals to one so I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna I'm going down in the for loop. Okay. If sorry, not new number, new num, new num. I'll put it like that. If new num is divided by j gives no remainder, then increase the counter. Okay. So every time. When the new number, which is a factor of that big number, is divided by j in the loop, 
if it gives no remainder then increase the counter that means uh, j will be a factor but we know in prime number if a number is prime number uh, it has no factors except itself and one okay that's why I started with new number itself and going up to one okay so that means that means if it's a prime number then counter has to be equal to zero that means there are only two numbers that are factors of new number okay so if it's only two then it's a prime number okay let's print that actually let's print the prime number print ln Mm, I'll print new number okay let's see what this uh, gives us there it is so 71 is a factor of that big number is a prime number 839 factor of that big number is a prime number 1471 and 6857 so these are the four factors of that prime number no, no, of that big number which is also a prime so here the largest number we have is 6857 so that's the answer for project Euler problem number three the largest prime factor of this big number, I don't know, six hundred billion eight hundred fifty one million four hundred seventy five thousand and hundred and forty three. So what we did here, first we found out the factors. Yeah, uh, name them as new number, and after we find out found out the factors, we checked whether that factor is a prime number or not by creating a counter. If counter is equal to zero that means every time when it divides uh, the number by j within the loop the counter will be increased and if the counter is two that means it is divided by only nicely perfectly divided by only two numbers which is itself and one okay that's why uh, that number is a counter if you want to put like this if you want to see if you put less than new number sorry uh, let's say new number minus one it starts from new number one is one let's not take the number and go up to two actually greater than one and say counter equals to zero that means none of the number can divide it uh, perfectly so the answer will be still the same okay let's see there you go yeah that's even better even faster so 71 839 1471 and 6857 are the prime factors of that big number and out of which 6857 6857 is the largest okay this is how you solve uh, project Euler problem number three okay thanks for watching any question just comment cheers